guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna be doing a you see this fuzz on my nose um i'm gonna be doing <laughs> a uh five below haul so i was doing these quite a bit on my channel a couple months ago but I kind of stopped because the five below that I was going to, there was two different ones that I was going to. And every time I would go to them, I wouldn't find a whole lot of stuff. So it just got really annoying. So I just kind of stopped. But in my Facebook group, um, there was this woman in there. I can't remember her name. Um, but this lady in my Facebook group told me, she also lives in Michigan, told me about another five below that maybe I could try out because they were asking in my Facebook group about sublimation hauls. So I was like, okay, well, I will try it out. It was in a different area. It was actually on the other side, on the complete other side of the world, basically, from where I was going before. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and I'll give it a try. And I went out to that five below and oh my gosh, it was like five below plus compared to the other ones I was going to. They had so much more stuff. They had way, um, newer stuff than the other one that I had. Everything in that five below just always kind of looked picked over. Um, and just... I don't know. I just didn't like going to those five belows. But this one that she told me about, this one is noise. Okay? It is noise. So I'm going to be going there. There's actually a lot of stuff in there that I'm going to be purchasing for my for my kids. I'm going back this weekend um, for Christmas gifts. Okay? That five below was noise. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So that's what I'm doing. I got a bunch of stuff. Okay? Basically, I'm doing a five below haul. I'm going to try to do everything that I have in this bag. Either It's either I either got it for sublimation or vinyl. Um, everything that I purchased, <clears throat> excuse me, everything that I purchased was $5. Everything. This is my receipt. And I know you can't see it, but every single item on this receipt was $5. Okay. So I paid $5 for everything. All right. We are just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna take a sip of my Starbucks. I have been so tired. I'm having a rough day today. But that's okay. First thing I have here, this book bag. I'm gonna turn this down because this thing is so bright. First thing I have is this book bag. I thought this book bag was so super cute. I think I'm gonna put... I don't know what I want to put on here. Either sublimation. I may just do some HTV or some vinyl right here on the pocket. Um, obviously, it's kind of like a mauve color. So, it's for me, not my boys. But this is like the perfect size for my laptop. The laptop bag that I have, I don't particularly care for it. Um, so, um, I really like this one. It was $5. And it's like, it's got gold and black trim around the zipper. So the zipper is gold. And then it's got black trim around it. It's like this mauve pinky color. And it has this front pocket right here, which I could use for like my charger and my mouse. Um, I just thought it was a really, really cute bag. So, um, you know, if you bought this for a little girl, you know, like you can probably maybe layer some vinyl here or here with the little girls or the name. I think I'm going to try to put my name on here. Either here or here. I think I'm going to put it here because this pocket part is smoother. Whereas like this part here is kind of textured. So it might be a little harder to put some HTV on here. But I think I'm just going to try to put Angel B right here on this front pocket. And we are going to do this today. I'm just going to do this with some um, black glitter HTV. Sizer black glitter HTV. I'm going to stick it right on here and we're just going to see what happens. Okay. They did have other colors. They had, I think, black and gray and red. I believe. Black and gray and red. But I'm like, I'm always buying stuff for my kids. I wanted to buy something for myself and I thought this book bag was so cute. It's perfect. Like I said, it's perfect for my laptop. So we are going to, I am going to do this today. We're going to put some HTV on here and see what happens. $5 book bag. It was super cute. Okay. Next thing I got here, five dollars. It's a pet, a pet hut. I have a really small dog. She's a um, man pen and chihuahua mix. So she's real small. She's like maybe six or seven pounds, and she's full grown. She's not gonna get any bigger. So 
I thought that this this little pet hut is per is the perfect size for her. She's always trying to find little nooks and crannies to get into to like hide from my um my kids because my kids are always mess. <laughs> This is so cute. It's like a little igloo. And then it comes with like this little pad that we can put right on the inside of it. So um, she, can, she can, you know, walk in here and sleep right in here. So it's just probably good for cats too or small dogs. Like I said, she's like six or seven pounds. So she's full grown. I think I'm going to put her name right here on the front. Um, and I think I'm going to try subbing it. Um, even though it's kind of fluffy. We're going to try sublimating it. If not, I mean, shoot, it's for my dog. Who cares if it doesn't come out? But I thought this was so, so cute. I'm going to put this probably in my son's room. She likes to sleep in my son's room a lot. So I'll probably put this, like, in the corner of his room so she has, like, a little bed to sleep in. I thought this was so cute. But, yeah, we're going to sublimate her name right here on the top of the pet hut. Okay? Let me see. I, I'm pretty sure this is polyester. And it was five dollars. Again, everything I got was yep. It's a hundred percent polyester. So we are going to try that. Okay. So the next thing I got, I don't think I'm going to sub this or anything. It's just like a little hoodie I got for myself. It is um a hundred percent polyester. It's the same kind of fluffy material as that pet hut. Um, but it's just like a little hoodie. Okay, and it has like buttons here. It is really cute. And you can sublimate on this if I wanted to put something maybe up here in the pocket areas or across the front. You can because it is 100% polyester. But it just looked really soft, really fluffy, and really warm. Really, that's why I got it for myself. I like to wear stuff like that like around the house. Okay, the next thing I got here is this little backpack I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna use it for but I wanted to get it and see obviously we can't sub on it because it's black but we probably could put some vinyl here some HTV I think I might do I think I have some rose gold glitter vinyl I may just put my name on here and rose gold glitter and see how it comes out It doesn't say what, let me see if I can find a tag, figure out what kind of material this is. It feels, let me see, it's 100% polyester. So, but again, it's white, I mean it's black so you can't sub. They did have other colors, they had like pink and I think a gray color like this. Um, so if you wanted to get maybe the pink one to sublimate on, I'm sure you could. But I'm going to do some rose gold glitter um sizer htv caesar sizer however you want to say we're gonna do that one today we're gonna do pretty much everything in this bag try to at least okay and then to go along with this little hut i got my dog this hoodie i wholeheartedly do not believe she is going to wear this hoodie i think as soon as i put it on her she's gonna snatch it right off but we're going to sublimate her name across it and we're going to see how it looks. And yeah, like I said, I don't think she's going to wear it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I just got it to see if it will work, honestly. Okay, so the next thing I have is two notebooks. Um, I'm curious to sub on this one to see if it works. This one... I think I'm going to leave this one alone. So I really liked this one to use for myself because I have like three different notebooks that I carry around and they all have different stuff. It's all like different stuff that doesn't really have anything to do with each other. So I either use three thinner notebooks or I'll use one thick no notebook, but they have a bunch of bookmarks and sometimes the bookmarks fall out. So, what I liked about this notebook was the fact that it's just a regular notebook, lined paper notebook, but it has 
three tabs already in here for me to be able to write down the things that I need and keep them separate. So I really like this. I just kind of bought this for myself to replace the notebook that I have. I mean, I always keep a smaller notebook like this in my purse just because when I'm out, I get business ideas or video inspiration ideas all the time and I have to quickly write it down. So I just wanted to use that for myself. But this one, I think we're gonna try to sub on this one. It's the same thing, it's just a notebook, but it does have a zipper on it. And then it's just lined on the inside, okay? It's just a lined, lined notebook, nothing fancy. And then it zips. It's white on the outside. Pretty sure this is polyester, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm probably going to use my um, easy press to do this just because I don't want to ruin my heat press or anything like that. I might just use my easy press to do all of these, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to sublimate on this and see see what happens might as well okay and then I just got for myself I could have left these out some leggings I forgot that it was in the bag but I just bought some like little leggings and some little pants for myself I love the little pants to like walk around the house in and then the last thing I got is a same material as the um the hut it's a cozy buddy pillow and it has like a handle on it it's just a pillow and then it also has like a cell phone pocket so i don't know you can put your cell phone in here and you can carry it around <laughs> but it doesn't like open or anything it's just you lay on it i guess i don't know i was like my dog would like something like this i don't know what the heck i would use it for um i guess it's just a pillow that you can carry around i'm not sure why you want to carry around or put your phone in a pillow but it's small my dog likes to sit on top of pillows little pillows like this she's always she'll jump up on top of the couch knock my couch pillow onto the floor and then lay on top of the couch pillow so i'm trying to find alternatives for her to lay in so she stops knocking my pillows onto the floor so when i saw this it matches her her little pet hut thing so hopefully she chooses to lay on this instead of knocking my couch pillows onto the floor okay but that is all i have i i am gonna go ahead and get all of my um it's just gonna be easy little sublimation like for this i'm gonna sublimate her name across here so i'm just gonna print off in black ink her name um for this and then the other things I'm just going to go ahead and get them cut, get them printed. We're going to go over to my table with my easy press and we're going to press all of these items and see what happens with them. So stick around. All right. So I am back here and I have all of my sublimation printed out, my vinyl cut, everything. Um, I'm using my easy press. My easy press does go up to 400 degrees. I know some of people's easy presses does not, but mine does. So that's why I'm going to use it today. Um, I'm going to do right now. I have it on 350 my easy press. So I'm going to go ahead and do the HTV products first, and then I can cut the heat up to do the sublimation products. Okay. So the first one I'm going to do is this black bag. Um, what I'm going to do, I have this little, um, Teflon pillow. I'm going to stick it in there to try to just make sure I have like good pressure when I go to press it because it's kind of, you know, flimsy or whatever. So I just want to make sure I have a good amount of pressure. So I'm just going to, here, let me zoom in. I'm just going to put, basically, I'm going to fold the pillow. If you have the smaller one, you can use it. I can't find mine. I had a small one. I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And then put it right here like that. Because I'm going to put it the HTV right here. And that's going to give me like an even surface. So that the pressure is even. And then I just have Angel B in gold glitter. And I'm just going to go ahead. Stick it on there. 
Um, it does have like this little plastic piece right here on the outskirts. So, to try to protect my Easy Press just in case it decides to melt, I'm going to take a Teflon sheet here and I'm going to cover it. Hopefully, I can still get a good amount of pressure. And I'm going to go ahead and press this. I'm going to do 30 seconds. I'm going to just apply some of my body weight onto the Easy Press to give it some pressure. And we're just gonna do this for about 30 seconds. If you haven't already joined my Facebook group, please do so. It's Crafty Mamas with an S, no emojis. <clears throat> Got a couple more seconds here. Okay. Okay, so the plastic did around it, it did like flatten out. <laughs> I'll show you guys in one second. And my HTV really didn't adhere all the way. Let me see. Okay. So yes, it did actually. So the HTV did go ahead and stick now. Here's the funny part. This is this this little part right here is what I was worrying worried about melting right here. This part and it did. It didn't melt in the sense of it stuck to my Teflon. It didn't. There's nothing on my Teflon sheet, but it did like flatten. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can turn the light on because it's not focusing. Okay. Can y'all see that it flattened out a little bit? Not really. I don't know. But it did kind of melt. And it melted not, like, it doesn't look bad. It just looks like this part right here looks rounded. And this part right here looks flat. That's all. So I guess if you wanted to just flatten the rest of it out to match, it'll look fine. But that's the HTV on here. That's really cute. You know, cute little bag that you can just um, kind of customize. Um, or if you got, I do have the little mini press. If you wanted to use the mini press to avoid melting this part, you definitely can do that or iron either one. Okay, but that's the HTV on this bag. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the HTV on this bag. I'm going to do the same thing with the Teflon pillow. I'm going to put it inside to create this flat. I need this, this surface to be flat and even. Okay, I'm just kind of straightening it out. I'm gonna give it a quick little Pre-press. Let's see if it melts. It shouldn't though. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then I have black glitter HTV with my name again. Just going to stick it on there, and then I'm gonna cover this with the Teflon again as well, just in case anything on here tries to melt. And then we're just going to go ahead and press. I think because of, um, you know, the Teflon, because it's so thick, it kind of blocks heat a little bit. So I think I might just do an extra like 10 seconds just to account for the fact that this Teflon sheet blocks heat. I mean, it's for me, so I'm not really worried about it. But I guess if you were going to try to resell it if, and you're using an easy press in a Teflon sheet or if you're using a Teflon sheet just account for the fact that Teflon um, tends to block a little bit of heat not a whole lot OMG and that looks super super cute
Okay, so the inside of this zip, the inside of this pocket tried to melt a little bit. It's not too, too bad. Once it dries, I mean not dries, once it cools off, the inside just right here is the only part that really wanted to melt. Right here on the inside part. And you can't even see it. It just looks a little patchy. So all you got to do, wait for it to cool off and it'll be fine. The outside didn't melt at all. Nothing out here melted. So that looks so cute. I love this. I love this bag. That's the black glitter HTV. I don't know if y'all can see it. But yes, that made the bag look super, super cute. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut my temperature on my easy press up to 400 degrees. Um, and then I guess we can cut some of the tags off of these. I'm going to go ahead and let my easy press heat up to 400 and I will be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. My easy press is on 400 degrees now. Um, this is the little hoodie that I got for my dog. It's got little ears on it, but I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. Just kind of spread it out. And it does have like a little hole right here. That's for the leash. Like if you wanted to wear this when you're walking your dog, it has a hole here for the leash part. thought that was kind of cool. Okay, and then this is just some black sublimation ink. And we are going to put it right here. I'm not going to tape it or anything. And then I'm going to get this Teflon. Um, this Teflon is kind of big. I think I'm going to do, I don't want to do butcher paper because I don't feel like getting up. So I'm just going to do this. Um, it's like a little piece of parchment paper. All right. And then we are just going to go ahead and press. Um, I think I'm going to do 45 seconds on this just because I don't want to burn it. My heat press was on 30, so I'm just going to have to do like an extra 15 seconds afterwards. And that's if it's not burning. I don't think it is, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to do another 15 seconds. I Honestly, I don't think my dog is going to wear this. <laughs> this hoodie at all. I think as soon as I put it on her, she's going to rip it right off. Okay. Wow. So it came off actually really, really good. Look how much came off. It's super dark. And then obviously because it's like that fluffy material, it's gonna look like once I fluff it back out because it's kind of flattened but like once I go ahead go ahead and kind of fluff it it's not like super uniform but you can still tell her name that's super cute that actually came out really nice okay and in this part you know just kind of wraps around the body like that like that so it's gonna sit on her back like that I think that's so cute okay so the next thing I got is the dog igloo which I'm pretty confident is going to work because that one works but let's go ahead and stick it on here You all up in my camera. That's my son. He watching me do all of this. But um, same thing. We're just going to put it on here and press.
right, this one I only did for 30 seconds because it was smelling a little burnt. And I'm not sure why. I think maybe it was just tag. Yeah, I think it was a tag. I forgot to take the tag off of this one. <clears throat> so, um, the A and the D right here is a little light, but that's okay. Like I said, it was smelling, I was smelling something burn. So I was like, let me take it off because I don't, I don't want to mess nothing up. But it's fine. Can't still came out really, really cute. Um, and then the last thing I have here is the notebook. Okay, so I'm just gonna put CEO on it. Um, yeah, there we go. CEO was upside down. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this right on the front. We about to see, and I am gonna put um, I'm gonna put some tape on this. Just because I don't want it to move. Hopefully it doesn't burn. I'm going to cover this with my Teflon. And same thing. We're going to do 45 seconds at 400 degrees. has been about 45 seconds oh man it did burn it looks like it got a little burn hue to it but it came off okay so the CEO part did come off. It just, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me turn this down. You see how this is like a cream color and then this is like, you see, can you see the color difference? So the cover did burn a little bit. So I wouldn't resell this. Obviously, I'm just going to use it for myself. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, But yeah, it did turn like a brownish color. I don't know if y'all can see the color difference right here. All right, well, that is all I have for this Five Below haul. I did pretty much everything that I purchased. Um, everything was able to sub, maybe play with the settings. Maybe I could have did this on like 385 or something. You can either play with the temperature or play with the time. Um, just see what works for you. But yeah, that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.